Bonjour Francais Croix. Aujourd'hui, on va parler du subjonctif. Ça vient de unité 9 dans le livre. Ok, le subjonctif. We are going to get super in depth into the subjunctive in level 4. So for right now, we're sort of going to gloss over its uses and focus mostly on the formation. Um, but in terms of when we use the subjunctive, it is very commonly used with expressions of necessity and obligation. And really, we're going to actually just focus on one expression. All right, so the important thing about a subjunctive is it's found in a dependent clause, which means that there's an independent clause attached to it. So you're going to see this word k meaning that, and your sentence is going to end up with two subjects, and we'll see that in a little bit. But let's talk about formation. All right, that's the main focus for us right now is figuring out how do we make the subjunctive. All right, your stem is the eel or l plural form. You're going to take off the o, e n t, not take of. Phew, fix that. Okay, take off the ENT, and here are our endings. E, E, S, E. Hmm, does that seem familiar? I, O, N, S, I, E, Z, and then ENT. So this is a weird mashup of, check these out. These are your regular ER verb endings, and then these are the same as the imperfect. So we're in for a wild ride, that's for sure. But those are your endings for the subjunctive. How do we translate this into English? Oh, so many different ways. It's, there's really not a true equivalent in English. So I'll give you an example. Il faut que vous regardiez ce film. Here's your subjunctive right here. And this, il faut que, means it is necessary that. So we could translate as, it is necessary that you watch this movie. You should watch this movie. It's necessary to watch this movie. You'll have to watch this movie. So there's so many different ways that you can translate the um, necessity of this expression into English. Let's take a look so you can kind of get a sense of what these verbs are looking like. Talking about parler, speaking, starting with parler. So here's your eel plural form. Take off the ENT. There's your stem. Put the ES on. There's your subjunctive, but it also looks like the present indicative. So that's crazy. Now, choisir is an IR verb, so it gets a little tricky. Remember that ENT, all right, it's not just ENT, it's ISSENT. So then our stem has that extra ISS in it, which we're used to, for example, in like the imperfect. And then here's your ending of the E. So IR verbs are going to look pretty crazy. Here's an RE verb, vendre. So il vend, take off the ENT, there's your stem, and then your ending, vendillon. This, all right, looks just like the imperfect. So Tons of similarities. We're just going to take a deep breath. We'll be fine. Think about sortir, okay? That's an irregular verb in the present tense. Its eel plural form is sort, which means our sem is sort. And then you put that e for your ending in the l form. We got l sort. Last one, conduire, also irregular in the present tense. So you've got conduise. There's your stem. And conduisier, that would be your subjunctive. Okay? So, give these um, six verbs a shot. Pause the video and see if you can make a sentence with Yofoka. I'm going to talk about Yofoka in just a second. All right, I hope you paused. Here we go. Il faut qu'elle grossisse. Il faut qu'il danse. Notice, look at that. Il plural form is the same in the present indicative and the present subjunctive. Il faut que je dise. Remember the il plural form of dire is dise, d i s e n t. Il faut que tu partes. Il faut que vous finissiez. Et il faut que nous perdions. Voilà. So speaking of il faut que, all right, that's the only expression your textbook's going to use right now. It means it is necessary that, and it'll be followed by the subjunctive after that que. So here's some. Ex here's an example. Il faut que je finisse mon travail. Remember I said there's lots of different ways to translate it, so it's necessary that I finish my work, I must finish my work, I have to finish my work. You also will see il ne faut pas que, it is not necessary that, and that of course will also use the subjunctive. Okay, so that's the end of the regular subjunctive. Okay, the next four slides are going to have four irregular verbs, the most common irregular verbs. And there's going to be no surprise to you, I'm sure, for example, that être is irregular in the subjunctive, in the present tense. It goes like this. Je sois, tu sois, il sois. 
nous soyons, vous soyez, il soit. Take a second to process that insanity. And um, we'll continue with aller, which gets exciting. J'aille, tu ailles, il aille. Yes, that's for real. A Lyon, a Lié, I <laughs> hope you're getting some giggles out of that. So, see, so you've got the E E S E still, the O I O N S I E Z E N T, but notice here we're going A I in the sem, and this is A L. So, be careful. Here comes avoir for you. We've got J, tu A, il A, nous ayons, vous ayez, and yils A. And our last one is fair. We've got je fasse, tu fasse, il fasse, nous fassions, vous fassiez, il fasse. Beautiful, aren't they? You're going to be okay. Don't worry. But that's a little petit introduction du subjunctive. Merci. Au revoir.